Hola, I'm going to do a video about the Batman today. I'm going to be doing an update video about 1.5 of the Red Stone update. And, um, so first off, let's get started on um, Trap Chest. Trap Chest is basically, it's just like a regular chest, see this is a regular chest. All you need to capture this regular chest in a tripwire hook, and you'll get your trap chest. So basically what it does, it works like a redstone torch. You, when you open it, it lets off a redstone signal. Let me just turn my sound up. It opens like a regular chest with a piston. As you can probably see that, pause the video, stop it again. That the piston goes up, therefore setting off, therefore making an orange block. So, now you're going to tap this and change that. So, then, another cool thing is they added a nether core, I think it's called. And you'll get nether quartz. My nether. And you can craft it in the blocks, like quartz block, pillar quartz, quartz slab, and chisel quartz. We'll craft the quartz block like this, the chisel quartz block like this, a block of quartz and double block of quartz, we'll get you a pillar quartz, block of quartz, we'll get two blocks of quartz, like you would do a slab, a function of a slab. Then we've got the daylight sensor, which is, it functions like, if you have it at night, it will, um, set off a signal, like the, um, trap chest, it will only go down. I believe. Like if you had it a light, you could do that. And then it's crafted like this. You have three glass on top, three other quartz in the middle, and three open quartz. So it kind of looks like a, um, uh, what, you, what would you call it? A, um, a solar panel. That's right. <coughs> so then we've got, um, that's it for here. So we've got a, um, I believe, um, weighted, weighted pressure plates, the gold is light, the iron is heavy, so gold, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, no more. So it takes about 23 to get from here to here. In the iron plate, it'll take a long time. I believe it takes 64. Get a full signal out of this one. Yep, it takes almost a full stack just to get um, that up. So this is the comparador. It is. Uh, it sometimes you can make it function like a redstone repeater by left clicking. You have the levers here. Here I set up a display. They're both about. They're both three blocks away. One, two, three. One, two, three. So what you're gonna do? Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Um, redstone. And oh, and um. We'll take the redstone. And so now they're both three blocks away. So if I um, take this one, the comparator, it has to have two signals, one coming in here and one coming from here. So if I activate both the lowest ones, it'll take the signal from the lowest one. But if I activate this one and turn off this one, It'll take the signal from this one and give it to that one. So it takes the signal from the closest redstone output possible. And you can make it also function like a repeater. And I think I forget the craft crafting recipe. So um, here's the fun part of the update. So this is the redstone block. 
right there. This is, um, this anvil, you can take a mob egg, and you can have, um, you can name, like, an animal. See, this is Disco Cow. So this is Disco Cow. I named him, um, uh, you put the, um, you'll take the, um, mob egg of your choice. And you'll pop it in the anvil and you'll use your experience to get it. The red cell lock it functions, it turns something off or on depending. And there's a hopper. See if I put some of this crap is in here. It'll go into a chest. That's the crafting recipe. And it doesn't stop. So over here we have um another brick. Nether brick, um, crapped into nether brick. Nether brick turns into nether brick. Who would have known? So, the thing about nether brick, which is really helpful, you can, um, smelt nether rack to actually get it. I'll just wait for it to I'll just wait for it to turn into nether brick here. So then you get another brick, and another brick functions like a regular brick. You can hit crap with it, like this house. It's got a knockback of zero. So it's got a knockback of zero. <laughs> it's not supposed to be used as a weapon. You can see there are four of them. I'll give you that. So, um, they've got a TNT minecart now. I'll show you that later. And they've got a hopper minecart. Which, I'm not, I'm not sure about that. Then you've got, the, you know, the recipes. Minecart and a hopper makes a minecart with hopper. Minecart and TNT will make minecart with TNT. I just destroyed that. So. We'll get some here in Disco Cow. Let's bump up the jams right here. Okay, so the jams are pumped up. God, they're just freaking me. And now that it's the morning, but um, let's finish this off with the murdering disco. See if this works. So it functions with the activator rail, which functions like a regular rail and functions like you have your redstone and TNT. And then I'll put the activator rail right here. And let's end the show with bye. <laughs> and don't. And so. Now uh, that I fixed that, I'm going to show you guys where to find another quartz. Achievement get! We need to go deep. It's not rare at all. It's completely normal to find in another. It got that thing. And it can be mine with me. I'll just use a butter pick for these purposes. Purposei. Zero. So now I'm in survival. It's like easy as the mine with another act, it'll drop one.